Hi everyone, it's Amanda here on the Yoti Yarn channel. In this video I'm going to show you how I dye my hand spun pole dorset yarn with cochineal. So these are the whole cochineal bugs and they need to be ground into a powder. Um, you can use an old coffee grinder or a pestle and mortar. I just put them in one of these grip seal bags and I grind them down with a rolling pin. This is the powdered bugs and I'm going to put the powder into a jug and pour about a pint of boiling water over it and leave it to soak overnight. Just a quick safety announcement. All the equipment that I'm using is kept solely for the purpose of dyeing wool. You don't want to be using anything that you're going to use to prepare food. Also, I'm wearing an apron to protect my clothes and gloves to protect my hands and to stop them getting stained from the dye. It's also a good idea if you're working with powders to wear a mask so that you're not breathing in any dust. So while the cochineal is soaking in the boiling water, I'm going to mordant my yarn. I have two skeins a total of 200 grams pre-soaking and I'm using alum at 10% and cream of tartar at 5% of the weight of the dry yarn. So 20 grams alum and 10 grams cream of tartar. And I'm going to mix those in a small amount of warm water and then add that to a pot of water before adding the yarn. And I'll bring the pot up to a simmer about 90 to 95 degrees C and keep it at that temperature for around 40 minutes.
After simmering for 40 minutes, I've turned the heat off and I've left the yarn in the mordant to cool enough that I can handle it. So I'm just going to squeeze it out and give it a rinse to remove any unattached mordant. This is the liquid after being left overnight and I'm going to strain that off through a sieve with a piece of cheesecloth into a bucket and I'm going to scoop the paste that's collected in the cheesecloth and put that back in the jug and cover with more boiling water. I'll repeat that process three or four times until it doesn't yield much more colour. I've strained the cochineal and poured boiling water over it several times and just to be clear I left it soaking overnight the first time and then subsequent soaks were just for about half an hour or so. The cochineal is extremely potent and it's still yielding quite a bit of colour so I'll just let the powder dry out and keep it for another dye bath. So I'm going to pour the dye liquid into the pot and I'll top it up with some water so that there's enough room for the yarn to move around. And then I'll add the yarn.
I'm going to turn the hob on and bring the temperature up to about 35 degrees C and I'll keep it at that for about 30 minutes and then I'll raise the temperature to about 80 degrees and leave it for a further 20 to 30 minutes. Now the yarn has been in the dye bath for just over an hour and I've turned the heat off completely and I'm just going to leave it in there overnight until it has completely cooled and I'll take it out and rinse it and hang it out to dry. So I'll just lift it out slightly so you can see the colour. Now obviously once this is dry the colour will be a bit of a paler shade. At the moment it's a sort of a medium rose pink. Now as you can see there's still a bit of colour in the pot so I have some fleece soaking that I'll mordan just the same way as I did for the yarn and I'll put the fleece in the pot to get some lighter shades of pink. So this is the result of the cochineal dye. There's the two skeins. So there's uh, 100 grams roughly in each of those and then I have this huge pile of fleece which I put into the exhaust bath. Uh, there's about 200 grams, just over 200 and 215 or something like that grams there and then I spun up this little sample of the fleece on my spindle. So that was the result of Dying with just five grams of cochineal. So I'm fairly pleased with that. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer them. I hope you enjoyed this video and hope to see you again soon. Bye.